Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and still with me in the studio is Jerry Villarreal, the owner of Our City Farm, a farm right here in St. Louis in the Central West End. So, Jerry, we've been talking about how you've grown this business from a couple years ago to now a profitable business, and um, you and your husband each have other jobs besides the farm, and yes. you have three little kids. Yes. So, how do you do this? What's your secret? Um, I. I tell people that I don't think about it and I just keep just going forward. <laughs> just, yeah, when I stop and think, I'm just like, how am I doing this? Right. Um, so, yeah, we, we try to fit it in. Um, it, for a while, I, it was, you know, I'd work until midnight and then I'd go to sleep and start the day all over again. Mm -hmm. But Because um, you, you work at an office all day yes. um, in IT work, yes. is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your husband as well. Yes. And, and then after we get home, then it's, you know, we're, we're farmers after that. Farmers. So the kids, are they all helping out? They are. They're Learning helping. And yes, they learn so much. Um, you know, my son is four and he, you know, if you ask him what he's going to be, he's going to see, he says he's going to be a farmer. Yeah. And, um, you know, every, every chance that they get, they want to help set, uh, start seeds or, um, help us weed and things like that. So do you have other people, do you have employees that work? during the day at the farm, or is it just pretty much you and the, it's the just, family? It's uh, me and the family, um, and we also have nephews that are older that, that help out a lot. Yeah, and your mm -hmm. husband is from Mexico originally. Yes. And does he have a background in this agricultural kind of work from Mexico, from his origins? No, he's a, he's a city guy too. Um, <clears throat> we both uh, just, he has friends that have ranches and farms, and uh, but he just, he never really uh, got into it like I did, and, and or like I, I didn't get into it either. I just kind of fell into it. You guys have it. learned as you go. Yes, we You've definitely learned, learned what works as we and go. what doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are your, let, let's talk about, um, here again are some beautiful pictures. This must be summertime at our city farm. Yeah, that was um, after our lovely spring rains brought us lots of produce. Yeah. Is it hard right now with this dry heat? It's um, very hard, yeah. and uh, right now we're, probably as we speak, an irrigation system is being put in at the farm. Oh, We've had a lot so you've of, been self-watering all this time? Yes, mm. we would uh, bring in a truck and, and water Wow. daily. Wow. So I, I don't even know where to begin to get tips for success from you, but I want to start with the parenting part, mm -hmm. um, and then we'll get to like gardening. Okay. <laughs> but parenting, <clears throat> how are you motivating your kids um, to help, to want to help? What, what do you think, is it just because it's a family activity or is there something else, another secret? Um, I think because it's a family activity, they really enjoy it. Um, they want it to be involved in what we're doing. So uh, they come with us on deliveries. They see things um, when, when we're growing. You know, they they were more interested because things because they grew it themselves. Right. So whenever we have you know vegetables on the plate, before it was like, ew, I don't want to eat broccoli. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, oh, I grew that broccoli. I want that broccoli. It really makes a difference, it does. doesn't it? In it terms does. of their interest in food and mm -hmm. um, and learning about food and cooking. Yes. To see how it grows and comes from the ground. Yeah. That's really fascinating. Okay, so they after school they come and they're they're out there working with you and in the summertime. Um, as well in yeah. the evenings. Yes, in the evenings um, they'll come out to the farm and we water with them and um, they love harvesting too. Uh, they, if um, we have to kind of control the harvesting because mm -hmm. it's more of, you know, how much can I pull out of the ground? Like, wait, that's not ready yet. Right. But they, they love harvesting. Um, of course. That's, that's, that's the, the rewarding part, it, right? right? Everybody loves that part. <laughs> so um, in terms of gardening, and I know you've got a big um, farm area um, that you're working on, but for the home gardener, dealing with this dry heat and all the different issues that we have going on in St. Louis right now, do you have any tips for the backyard? Um, if you can get a rain barrel, that would be wonderful. Right now we haven't had a lot of rain, but whenever we have it to try to capture it would be great. It just seems like the plants respond so much better to the rain than they do to just regular water. Really? Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. So interesting. And do you have any tips for keeping weeds down? That's my problem. <laughs> um, mulching. I, we use yeah. um, both the plastic mulch, which is just like, um, like a plastic layer that like goes on top, a sheet mm -hmm. of, of mulch, and then we also uh, use straw to try to retain the moisture yeah. as well. Yeah, very good. So um, we're going to have to take a break, unfortunately, but in the fall, if you come back and please tell us how we deal with the end of the garden and get ready for next year, that would be awesome. And bring Absolutely. the kids because I want to hear what they have to say about all this okay. as well. Absolutely. Okay, and uh, you can look on our screen right now, Our City Farm on Del Mar in the Central West End. Um, and for more information, visit their website, ourcityfarm.com. You can purchase produce. You can learn more about um, 
how they have made this little farm enterprise quite a success. So thank you, Jerry, so much for coming. And uh, we do need to take a break, but remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on stltv.net. Stay tuned to STL TV. Thank you.